Hello guys, welcome back to E7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily 7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to explain the phase diagram of the soil and explaining the different quantities of the soil mechanics. For example, the unit weight of the soil, the dry unit weight, the water content and y ratio, and also the porosity of the soil sample. So, first to define and explain the phase diagram of the soil. So, this is known as the phase diagram of the soil which contains the three components one is air one is water and one is the solids solids means the soil solid mass so air the volume of the air is usually represented by VA the volume of the water is usually represented by VW and the volume of the solid is, is represented by VS so the phase diagram of the solid usually contains the three main components in which the soil has air, the soil has water and the soil has also solids, mass. So similarly the weight of this is represented by here, the weight of the air represented by WA, the weight of the water represented by WW and the weight of the solid is represented by WS. Now the different quantities of the soil, of the soil is contains those components for example the volume of the air the volume of water and the volume of the solids so how so i will explain these quantities here so starting with the unit weight of the soil so unit weight usually represented by gamma one of the most important quantity in the soil mechanics and this is equal to the total weight total weight of soil dividing by total volume of soil total volume of soil so if we present so total weight of soil means total weight of soil what is total weight of soil this is known as the total weight total volume of soil Total volume of soil is represented by V and it is equal to the volume of air, volume of water and volume of solids. Again, total weight of soil is equal to the weight of air, weight of water and weight of solids. So this is known as the total weight of solids represented by capital W and this is known as the total volume of soil represented by V. Also, one another thing, volume VV is known as the volume of the whites. Volume of whites, this is represented by VV and this is equal to the volume of air and volume of water. So the combination of air volume and water volume is known as the volume of whites. So now, the unit weight is total weight of soil so total weight of soil presented by w so w dividing by total volume of soil total volume of soil is v so v so this formula is known as the unit weight of the soil the second one this is the first one the second one is the dry unit weight what is dry unit weight of the soil represented mostly by gamma dry and it is equal to the weight of solid weight of solid divided by total volume of soil total volume of soil so weight of solid is this one weight of solid dividing by the total volume of soil which is V dividing by V here so total weight, so the weight of solid divided by total volume of soil is the dry unit weight of the soil sample. Now the third one is the water content of the soil. How we can find the water content from the phase diagram? So water content is represented by W in percentage, small w, and it is equal to the weight of water dividing by the weight of solids.
So weight of water is W, W dividing by weight of solid is W, S. So this is known as the water content. The fourth one is the wide ratio. Wide ratio is equal to the represented by E and it is equal to the volume of whites dividing by volume of solids. So, volume of whites is VV dividing by volume of solids, which is VS. So, volume of whites VV is this one, volume of whites, which is the volume of air in volume of water, dividing by volume of solids, which is this one, volume of solids. The fifth one is the porosity. So, how we can find the porosity from the phase diagram represented by N? It is equal to the volume of whites dividing by total volume of soil. So volume of whites is this one, VV, dividing by the total volume of soil is V. This total volume, which is the volume of air, volume of water, and the volume of solids. So this is known as the porosity. So here are the different formulas used to find out the different quantities of the soil sample. So this phase diagram has different components, air, water and solids. And these different formulas are used to find out the different quantities. Hope you guys understand our today lecture and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.